Good morning, guys. So there is a new addition to our family. Jim's brother and sister-in-law just gave birth to a beautiful baby girl this morning. Um, yeah, so we're really excited. Jim is super excited. A uh, funny thing is today, October 26th, is Jim's brother's birthday and Jim's name day uh, for his real name, Demetrios. So that's so cool that now we have a third uh, member of the family celebrating a birthday or having a celebration today. Uh, that's really, really cool. And I'm super excited to meet her. I don't know when. I'm thinking like, so Jim had to leave, like, she was born this morning and Jim had to go to work, but I'm sure like mom and dad are really, really tired and just need to relax and just want time with their baby. Um, I know I would. So yeah, so we're just going to wait till later this evening and hopefully they're up for a quick little visit because we want to see her. I haven't even seen a picture of her yet. So... Yeah, we're really, really excited. Jim's really excited to be an uncle because that's very new for him. So a little update on, because the last video um, I posted was the first day of me getting back on track and it was the first day of my diabet. So the first week has gone well. Um, I lost 2.4 pounds this week. Um, so that's good, like I'm on track. Ugh really hoping that this will be like the first diet bet that I can actually win because I always seem to sabotage myself you know I've never had a 2.4 pound loss the first week so fingers crossed I could um, anyways so about that weight loss I'm happy about it I'm happy that I said to myself that I'm getting back on track and this diet bet was going to be the start of it and I actually lost weight and it wasn't just like a half a pound it was a good little chunk but I could have done better. So I'll explain how the week kind of went. So the Monday I started off amazing because I vlogged for you guys. The weighing in for the diet bet was a big eye opener because I didn't expect to gain that much. So I had a really good workout and ate really healthy all day. And that's great. And then the rest of the week, um, I, I stuck to like eating healthy, although I only really worked out one other time. Um, but that's okay because losing weight mostly comes from your nutrition and working out is kind of just the bonus. But um, so yeah, like my workout game was weak, but the food was pretty on point all week and I was really, really happy. And I was confident that I'd like lose three or four pounds. Um, but then the weekend came and I guess cause I wasn't quite back on track for a long, it was only like those five days, Monday to Friday. And then this weekend was just like, this past weekend was just like, my, I hung out with my sister. We hung out with Jim's brother and sister-in-law. Um, we were eating out and ordering in. Oh, and then it was um, my stepmom's birthday. So it was just, food 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 all weekend long and i just i didn't have the self, like enough self control that i usually um you know would have for the past 2 years where i just like choose which day is going to be my cheat meal and then plan that meal and it's just that one day because i wasn't really back on track and i was still pretty familiar with the eat whatever you want kind of thing from the wedding and honeymoon um i did just eat kind of whatever i wanted all weekend so I think that I could have lost more, but then kind of overindulging this weekend did it. But I'm like, so I'm really, really happy that I lost 2.4 pounds um, despite those, despite just eating whatever I wanted on Saturday and Sunday. So then this Monday was Jim and I's first month anniversary. We're not gonna be cheesy and celebrate each month, but the first month was exciting to us and special. And also a lot of people um, wait till their first year anniversary to eat the top of their wedding cake if they keep it. And we decided to do it 
the, during the first month so that it would taste better and plus we were just super excited and we, we couldn't wait so um, we had a big piece of this um, like our whole cake was red velvet but we put the top as cheesecake because we also really love cheesecake and we thought that a cheesecake would hold up better in a freezer and um, just taste fresher rather than like a spongy type of cake so we had a big piece of that and then we cut off like another little piece uh, to save in the fridge and we wrapped up the other half and so we wrapped it up really good and if it does last and hold up then we will have something to eat on our first year anniversary as well so um, yeah that's another reason that Monday I couldn't quite like I did I did eat really healthy all of Monday except I had a huge ass piece of cheesecake which was probably a thousand calories so who knows about that but anyways so my first week went well um, not as good as I could but that's okay like I'm easing in and I'm so proud of myself for saying that I was gonna get back and getting back I'd say that I'm back on track for the most part but I'm not 100% myself. I'm still um, giving in a lot more than I would have like over the past two years. Like I'm not in that groove. The groove of eat healthy, work out, have your Saturday night cheat meal. I'm still kind of like eat healthy, work out sometimes, and then eat whatever you want on the weekend, <laughs> which is not going to get me far. I've been okay with eating okay with eating well but I haven't really gotten into the workout groove yet I just have random good workouts here and there I haven't gotten into my groove of let's sweat each day so even if you don't want to go to the gym throw on a YouTube workout video or go for a walk with Oliver um, that was always my mentality is do something every day and if it doesn't want if you don't want it to be like a full-blown gym workout sweat somehow whether you dance whether you take the stairs whether you go for a walk whatever you do right and yeah i haven't been doing that so i'm going to um have a good workout today i had breakfast when with uh jim this morning before he left for work and um we had some blueberry oatmeal back to basics um and um, I had some tea and now I'm just gonna chug like at least a liter of water while I uh, take care of some emails before I head down to the gym so I'll see you guys later bye hey guys so I'm down at the gym and it's empty for now so I'm gonna cross my fingers that it stays empty so I can film a bit uh, while I work out but every time I hear like a noise in the hallway I always think somebody's gonna come in and my heart starts to pound and I get all nervous why you know what I'm less embarrassed in big crowds than I am like if I'm in here by myself film filming and like one or two people walk in I'll feel so stupid so when you see me filming just my feet walking on the treadmill or just my feet with no talking just know that that's because the gym is full of people or at least like two other people and I'm too embarrassed to film but when I'm like filming like talking to the camera while I'm working out you know that it's empty and I feel confident or at least know the person who's in here if I'm with Jim or if I'm with somebody else I could care less I'm totally confident it's just when you're when I'm by myself I feel very sheepish okay let's get this workout started
crazy to me is the things that I was doing like every week, four or five times a week for the last two years that I was completely comfortable with and I felt completely like fit doing um, now seems so much more difficult and I struggle so much more. Um, just like the the amount of weights and the speeds and stuff like that just seems so much more difficult and I get out of breath so much more quickly and I don't have that strength. I definitely lost a lot of muscle. I can tell that I'm floppy everywhere. I was much more mm, so I gotta get back to that. Okay, so I'm going to have a post-workout protein shake um, I haven't had protein shake in a long time, so I want to get back into that. Um, all of my bananas are really, really ripe, so I'm going to... They taste really sweet when they're ripe, but I don't like how mushy they are just to eat them, so I put them into protein shakes, or I think the remainder I'm going to uh, cut up and put in the freezer for banana ice cream. So I'm going to put a banana frozen blueberries. I wait to put the protein powder last so it doesn't stick. I'm going to put, put um, about a cup of almond milk and the rest water. Now I'm using, um, I don't know if you can see this, Lean Fit complete plant-based protein. It has 110 calories per scoop, 5 grams of fiber, and 19 grams of protein. I get this from Costco. I like this one because it's not chalky like a lot of plant-based proteins. It's completely smooth like whey protein. beautiful this color is. I'm so excited to try it. It's like dessert. I'm happy. I don't know why I stopped making protein shakes. I'm gonna do it now. I love it. So for dinner, I made the vegetable soup that I made last week. It's so good. It's honestly my favorite soup that I make. Um, it's really, really delicious and yet it's super healthy. As you can tell, it's just jam packed with vegetables. It's so good though. Um, if you want to know how I make it, you can check out the recipe in my last vlog and it's all laid out there for you. Um, yeah, so as soon as Jim gets home, we're going to eat this. So Jim just got home, but it doesn't look like we'll make it downtown in time before visiting hours are over and we're dying to see the baby. Um, but hopefully we'll get to see her tomorrow. And I mean, they're happy, they're healthy. That's all that matters. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye.